In this video, I would like to show you how to retouch photos using frequency separation technique in just two simple steps. We will first remove the blemishes and then smoothen the skin using the frequency separation technique to preserve the skin texture. Without much ado, let's jump right into it. This video is brought to you by Brandon Graphics Channel and my name is Vincent Annie. We will use the spot healing tool or the patch tool to remove the skin imperfections such as pimples and acne. Before we do that, let's quickly duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl J or Command J on your keyboard. Rename the duplicate as blemish. To make the blemishes pop out, Let's select the black and white adjustment layer and reduce the red and yellow colors. Now we can see them clearly. Now select the spot healing tool. Ensure that the blemish layer is selected. Adjust the brush size by pressing the left or right square brackets. We are going to simply paint on the blemish and watch it disappear. If you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, hit the notification bell and subscribe for more videos like this. At this point, you may be tempted to paint a larger area at a time. If we paint this large area, the spot healing brush tool leaves some blotches around the painted area, so don't do it. Smaller spots leave a better result. Continue painting until all the blemishes are completely healed. I'm going to be speeding up this video because I don't want it to be unnecessarily long. Now turn off the black and white layer and the spot healing tool has done a decent job. This is before and after. Now let's proceed to the frequency separation. Duplicate the blemish layer. I like to keep a copy. Turn it off. Rename this low frequency. This layer contains the color. Duplicate this and rename it high frequency. This layer contains the texture. At this point, there are no differences between the layers, but we are about to separate them. Select both layers and group them. Rename the group frequency separation. Now we are going to apply the Gaussian blur to the color. Which layer contains the color? The low frequency layer. So we turn off the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer which contains the color. Next, go to Effect and select Gaussian Blur. Let's sample this area. Slide the radius bar back to the beginning and start sliding forward little by little until the skin texture begins to disappear. We will leave it at 8.0. Notice the image is looking blurry. Now we are going to separate the color from the texture. So turn on the high frequency layer and select it. Go to image, apply image and adjust these settings. Select the low frequency layer which contains the color. Channel, select RGB. In the blending mode, we will subtract the color from the texture, that is, the low frequency layer from the high frequency layer. You got it? 
frequency separation. While the high frequency layer is still selected, change the blending mode to linear light. Now turn off the texture layer so we can work on the color. We are going to use the mixer brush tool to smoothen and blend the skin colors. Go to the brush tool, click and hold to select the mixer brush tool. There is a bunch of settings up there, so please pay attention while I show you what each option can do. Make sure hardness is zero. If you select load solid colors only, it will use only the solid colors you selected. If you select clean brush and this icon, it will use clean brush at first stroke and then reverse to the solid color. So select clean brush and clean brush after each stroke and you are good to go. Watch what happens when weight is zero. Nothing. When it's 100, it has enough wetness to smear the colors around. Let's leave it at 66. We will leave mix at 91. Flow is referring to the intensity. Make sure that this box is not selected. Now let's consider different shades of colors as we paint. We have the highlights, the mid-tone, and the shadows. Paint on each shade at a time and lift your brush before the next shade so you don't model up the colors. I try to paint shade by shade, paying attention to the transition points, blending them properly. If you like this video so far, kindly give it a thumbs up, I'll appreciate it. I want to maintain the highlights of the nose, so I start from this point and blend the surrounding areas. I can also push a single line of highlights on top of the nasal ridge to create an effect. Here is the before and after. Now turn on the high frequency layer. We can also fine tune using the lasso tool and the Gaussian blur. Use the lasso tool to trace out a selection. We are not supposed to include the eye, but I want you to see why. Go to filter and apply the Gaussian blur. We applied 8.0 radius initially, remember. Now let's increase it to about three times. We don't want a blurry eye, so let's undo and make a new selection. Apply Gaussian blur. Make another selection. Right click and select Gaussian Blur. Make another selection. 
right click and select Gaussian Blur. This is the before and after. I really appreciate your watching this video and I would like to know if you find it interesting. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.